welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with a quick video on Zippo lighters. Now, this is a lighter, um, USS Sacramento AOE 1. I hope you can see that there. That's a ship that I was on when I was in the Navy in 1993. And I bought this lighter back there, uh, so it's what, 21 years old? So I want to take you through the process of rebuilding one of these old lighters. The flint uh, just doesn't spark as good as it used to. The wick is short. It's just kind of due for a rebuild. Now, obviously, you can go to the Zippo website and you can buy components. I mean, you can buy flints, you can buy wicks, you can buy the cop uh, the cotton that goes inside, and all that's great and it's it's good because those are the correct materials to use. But you got to pay shipping and you got to wait for those items to arrive. So my objective of the video today is to take you through the process of doing that same rebuild without having to order all that stuff. So in other words, I'm going to show you how to rebuild one of these Zippo lighters using household materials. Things that you have around the house, everyday items. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy the video and stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to rebuild one of these things. Okay, everybody, here's a list of some of the items that you may need to rebuild this lighter. I have behind me right here I, in my hand, I have some cotton yarn. We're going to use this as a new wick. So we only need about six inches of this yarn. So I'm going to cut off a small piece of the yarn. I'm going to set it down there. That's what we need. I also have a handful of cotton balls. I may or may not need this. This is just a very thin piece of floral wire or snare wire. Might or might not need this. I'll explain why in a minute. I have a good pair of needle nose pliers. I have a flathead screwdriver. And you may or may not need that as well. I've got some fuel. And I have two of these lighters. And you're probably wondering why are you going to be using these lighters. Well, these are old dead lighters. They don't work anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to rob the flint out from the inside of them. Obviously we don't need both. I'm just using two different ones to show you for an example. I mean you could have something like this. I mean the point is we need some old dead lighter to get a flint out of. <clears throat> so stay with me. We're going to start to rebuild. Okay, you might have been wondering what I have this other lighter for. This other lighter is a brand new one I just picked up. It was built last year. I bought it about a month ago. I'm going to be comparing the rebuilt flame to that old to that new one. So, first step is I want to take the lighter, open it up and grab this portion and pull out the lighter. Now, you remember a minute ago I said you may or may not need the flathead screwdriver. A lot of times if you push with your thumb and you rotate you can get this to turn. If you need a screwdriver, well now would be the time to use it. Okay, But in our case we don't really necessarily need the screwdriver so we're going to just pull this out. Now be careful because this is spring loaded. You don't want this thing flying on you. And what this is, is this is the the piece that will hold the flint into the lighter. So it's just a copper screw, or excuse me, it's a brass screw with the brass tip and it has a spring on it. So we're going to set that aside over here by the fuel. Now there's a small felt pad. You want to remove this small felt pad and set that aside as well. Inside this this hole here, you see it? It just fell out this is the old flint. I might have not caught that on camera but this is the old flint. Boy that thing is small. We're going to need to replace that. So I'm going to set that right over here as well. Now we basically have the lighter pretty much taken down. It's time to use these needle nose pliers and we're going to start pulling out this cotton material from inside. Now there's the, the wick. 
we're just going to pull all of this cotton out. Now this wick obviously has a, a lot more life left in it. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to set that aside and we'll just pretend that that wick's bad. And so that way I can show you the procedure of replacing it. Okay, so now we have the lighter. We have everything taken out from inside the lighter. I have a small flashlight here. I'm going to try to zoom down in there so you can see pretty good. See how clean that is? We've removed everything out of the lighter. Okay. Now it's time to take a small piece of yarn and we're just going to poke it through this hole in the top. See there's a rivet that holds the bracket that holds this piece here. There's that small rivet. Uh, let me see if I can use this wire as a pointer for you. I'm going to use this wire. You see where I'm pointing right there? There's a little rivet right there. Well, obviously that's the hole where we're going to put our wick through. So I'm just going to stick my wick down into that hole. Okay, once I get it started, I'll flip this baby over. And you can see that the wick is inside, ready for me to grab it with the needle nose pliers. And I'm going to pull this wick through. Now, at this point, one thing that I like to do is I like to just kind of bend this over. You don't want it any higher than the height of this windshield. So about, about, about the height of this hole right here is about how high we want that wick. So I'm just going to fold that thing over the edge and I'm going to start taking these cotton balls breaking them down and I'm going to just start packing them down inside. You can use your needle nose pliers for this or you can use a screwdriver, just something to pack this stuff down. Make sure that you pack around in this area as well. Don't forget that. So we're just packing cotton balls down inside. Doesn't have to be Gorilla tight. We're just packing a little bit of cotton in there. Keeping the wick and we're checking our, our, our distance to make sure that our wick didn't get too short or too long. Before we get this totally full, if you need to shorten the wick a little bit, now would be the time to do that. But just kind of looking at it. Let's pull it down just a hair. Now we can continue to pack more cotton into the lighter. Okay, so again, taking our cotton balls. Don't forget to go up in this area like I mentioned. How tight do you want to pack it? Well, that's kind of a personal preference. You know, I, I pack it about medium tight. Nothing too crazy. I just pack it down in there. It's important to make sure that you get around into this area. I can't stress that enough. So you want to pack cotton balls all in there. And once you get to about here, you want to take that felt and stick it back in. But you don't want to leave this this uh, wick hanging out like I did. <clears throat> I'm just sticking the felt in as a measurement to see how much more cotton I need. It's going to go just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Just a little bit more cotton. I think that looks good. Now you take your wick and you just kind of wrap it around up in here. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of put your wick in there. Let's take our cotton felt and see how that fits. Because we want that cotton felt to fit flush. 
just like so. We want it to be able to go down, and it did, so that's good. We're doing good. We packed it full of cotton balls. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and fuel this thing before I put that wick and everything, uh, excuse me, before I put that cotton felt back in. So I'm just using some lighter fuel here. And I'm just going to saturate the, whoops, sorry, got off camera there. I'm just going to saturate the cotton balls until I see moisture on the top. Doesn't take too much. See, it just barely started showing a little moisture. Then I'm good. Now we're going to take our cotton, or excuse me, our felt, and we're going to put that thing back on. Now from here, we need to replace this little piece. Remember, this was our flint. See that little guy? Thing is tiny. So we need to replace that flint. That thing was about to fail us. So, I'm going to take this old lighter. Just kind of pry this top metal portion off. Bear with me. There's our new flint right there. So you have the old flint compared to the new flint. And that flint, like I said, was just robbed out of another lighter. So we're going to put the new flint down in, into the hole here. Just like so. Now we're going to follow it up with this spring and just kind of push it down, whoops, that blew just a second. You can tell obviously that it was under tension. So we're going to push, rotate, we're going to push with our thumb and just rotate until we feel the threads bite. And from here we're just going to tighten this down. And again, nothing on these things has to be crazy tight, just snug everything up. From here, we're going to test it. It already lit up on us. Pack this down, close it up, and we have now successfully rebuilt that lighter. Now, I'm going to save this, obviously, because this piece is still good, this wick. That's the original wick, and it's, it has a lot of life left in it. And this original packing, I'm also going to save. I'm only taking that out for this video. So now I'm going to kill some of these lights and fire these guys up and we'll take a look. Okay, let's go ahead and light up this new one. We'll light that one up and we'll light up the old one. We'll take a look and see how they do. Let me kill this other light. There we go. You can see that the flames are about the same height. Now, if you notice the flame's a little higher on this one, that's because the wick might be slightly higher than the wick on this one. So there you have it everybody. I want to say thank you for watching my video. Please feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. I hope this video was useful for you. I hope you found some good information. And as always, Thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Those are good lighters. Bye-bye.